Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorials and in this video I'm going to quickly show you how you can start to change the size of your font and how you can start to change the color as well. Now in a previous video I did show you exactly how to do this. However, I was very brief, very quick because the more the idea of that one was more to show you the idea of how to actually um, use the syntax in CSS. So over here, I've got a header and I've got two paragraphs uh, and these are both commented out because I'm going to be using them later on. And I've put a comment over here saying, uh, this is the code for font and size. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make this header blue. I've already linked my CSS to my test.html file. So in here, I can simply put h1, open my squiggly bracket because that's the selector, followed by the squiggly brackets and I'm going to put color blue. Okay, if I were to refresh this page, it's going to say this text is in blue. Now, the problem with this is that blue, there, um, the computer only stores a certain amount of colors, like um, RGB, um, it stores gray, purple, um, and a bunch of others. However, let's say you've made a website, and on this website, you want to have a very specific color. The easiest thing you can do is go to something uh, like a color picker, which allows you to pick the HTML hexadecimal code for that particular color. So I want to type in color picker. Go into the W3Schools one. And over here, you've got the range of different colors that you can pick. OK, now I think in my opinion, this is ideal. Uh, some people might prefer the one where you have um, a big square and you've got all the RGB. So then you can like pick the exact shade and everything. For me, this it does the exact same thing. Makes no difference to my life. Now, the way color works, the color um, property, it allows you to input a bunch of different kinds of colors in that sense. There are four different types. One is the bog standard white black, blue, green, yellow. The next one is a hexadecimal, such as this. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy across hashtag uh, 4DC3FF. Okay, so I can remove blue and input this value in. And what's gonna happen is the value is gonna, the text is gonna change to a lighter blue. Another way I can do it is use something called the RGB, which stands for red, green, blue. And in RGB, I have to set three values. So I can say 100, uh, 0, and 34. And let's see what comes up. Maybe this is something. OK, it's a dirty brown color. <laughs> then um, another one you can have is also RGBA, which allows you to set in the, it allows you to set an alpha value, which is basically the opacity. So if that basically ranges between 0 and 1. So if I put this as 0 0.5, you can see now that it's gone to a bit of a lighter brown, uh, lighter blue, uh, brown in this case. I'm just going to change this to brown. Okay, so yeah, it's gone to like a slightly lighter brown, but it's more of a, it's kind of blending in more with the background. Now, the closer I get to 0, so let me go to 0.3, it's going to get even lighter and 0.1 it's as light as it gets and if it goes all the way down to zero it becomes invisible okay and that's really about it so like like I said there are four different kinds you've got the regular standard so you've got color being something like blue you've got green you've got yellow you know and the list goes on then you've got something called your hexadecimal colors which I showed you using the color picker the next one that you can use is something called the RGB scale in which you can select your particular values to say how much red you'd like, how much green you'd like and how much blue you'd like to form a specific kind of color. So if I had, for example, here 100, 0 and 0, I'm assuming it should be just straight red. Yeah, so it's going to be a very dark shade of red in this case. So it's more like a very dark maroon kind of color. Okay, now if, um, and the final kind that I showed you was RGBA, which is where you add your alpha value in to allow um, opacity to be involved. So that's gonna be having a range between zero and one, and the lower the value, the lighter it becomes. The second part of this value, uh, the second part of this tutorial is to do with 
this part of the text. Now, what I'm going to be showing you here is I'm going to comment out this. The next part of this tutorial deals with the font size. Now, there are two different sizes that can be used, or there are more than two, I think. I think there might be three. Can't be, I'm not too sure. But anyways, these are the two I'm going to be talking about today. The first one is pixels. Okay, so as we've seen in my previous videos, as we've seen in the general styling, if I want to change the size of text um, of anything, I'm going to be using pixels. Now, pixels are a very static value. So if I'm saying the font size is going to be 100 pixels, it's going to be 100 pixels on any screen, which means the font size is going to stay exactly constant. Now, for example, I'm going to go onto here. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to say paragraph, so P. And then I'm going to say font size, and I'm going to say 100 pixels. As soon as I do this, it's going to be 100 pixels. But this is going to be the same size on a 15 inch screen. It's going to be the exact same 100 pixels that's going to be represented on a screen that's 300 um, inches like in dimensions, which means that the actual size is going to be very small. There's a different way you can actually represent this which is called using EM. Now, the use of EM is basically, it's kind of relative to the screen size. And one EM is equal to the default font size on whatever screen that you, are, that you plan to use. So if it's an 11 inch screen, if it's a 15 inch screen, it's going to adapt to that specific screen size accordingly. In order to do this, <clears throat> we're going to be using EM accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and comment out this. Okay, so I'm going to comment this out and restart. So I'm saying the font size is 3EM. When I go to my styles.css, I'm again going to type in font size and I'm going to put 3EM. Okay, so similar, it's the exact same syntax. Well, I mean, it's the exact same style that I'm going to be writing. And I've got the value followed by the unit of measurement. So in this case, it's EM. As soon as I press enter, you can see that the font size is now increased. However, this font size is relative to my 15 15 inch laptop. On a 17 inch screen, it's going to adapt and be even bigger because it's relative to your screen size. So now if I were to put 5em, 5em is going to be this big, but it's again going to be dynamically sized. So it's going to be bigger on certain screens and smaller on other screens to make sure that it um, adapt to your specific screen. Okay, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So what we've covered is simply using um, the four dif uh, the three or four different kinds of ways to change your font color. And the other way is to, and the other thing we talked about today is how to change your font size. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.